it's winter and we're indoors and I need my YouTube glasses. Right guys, I'm still waiting on tools so there is no bike video just yet but I like making videos so we're going to do something a little bit different today. We are going to do a car review. So for my first car review, uh, I thought I'd do something a bit nice. This here is my friend's R32 Mark IV Golf. Let's have a look around. That sounded so gay. So this R32 Golf, it does look nice. It's got all the tricks and bits and everything, but there's something special I want to show you. I think it's a 2JZ. I'm going to say that looks not standard. Yes, yes. Um, yes, okay. I had one of them once. Right, okay, let's... Toyota Corolla. I don't know my Golfs, but I know that is nifty and that's large. And I don't think that's standard either. But there is a man here that can tell you all about it. So this man here, this is the owner of this beautiful car. Would you like to tell us a bit more? Because obviously I have no bloody clue. What, yeah, is, what is this? Right, so uh, it's been a bit of an R&D car for Rushworth. Um, generally speaking, we've stuck with the Rotrex supercharger systems. It's now running a C3891 uh, Rotrex supercharger with a full mounting kit. Um, we've got all sorts of little trick bits, big large front mount intercooler, custom crash bars. We're running the HPA um, manifold system, big four inch map housing, big k and air filters. Um, we're running a Lucifer exhaust system all the way throughout the car. Um, as Josh has shown you in the video, there's quite a lot of in the way of Porsche brake systems, large brakes. Um, running roughly at the minute about 490 horse. How um, much? 490. 490? 487 I think was the peak figure. Okay, this is going to be a lot more fun than I first thought. Ooh. So what is this? So there you've got new performances, they've got a, a dual surge tank system, this is all professionally plumbed in by us. Um, running lines down, down to the new performance fuel rail at the front end of the car. This currently can support two Walbridge GST 450 pumps. Uh, with the power spec that we're doing at the minute, it's only running the one. Um, but there's plenty of space in there to run another. Do we want to turn the boost up? <laughs> Do you want to turn the boost up? Uh, as it stands, we're running restrictions on the exhaust system. What exhaust do you have at the moment? So as it, as it is now, we're running a, a two and a half inch decat system back to a two and a half inch free flow rear box, which is a Miltec tip box. Uh, the rest of the system is a loose system, but we're probably going to have to set all the pipe work up to a three inch system front to back. So that leads us on to our next question. What does this thing sound like? supercharged golf so I don't really do car reviews I reviewed my own car and obviously I've been driving that for a couple of weeks so this is new to me guys <laughs> and uh, I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit scared of this car this is gonna be the most powerful thing I've driven by mile What's that whistling? Is that, is that the, the intake? The intake. So you've got a three-inch, you've got a three-inch pipe system all the way from the supercharger to the map and the uh, and the air filter. So if you can imagine, it's just a long, large bit of alley tubing that just sucks in as much air as it possibly can. I think uh, it just it does. It sounds like it just wants to take off. I need to tickle it again though. Like I'm seriously scared because it's so so responsive. Yeah, I mean that was yeah. that was that was the reason we went with the Rotrex supercharger units. In that, um, as far as the supercharger unit goes, they're very compact. They can be fit in a hundred different places. But as 
much as the lads with the big turbo cars making big, good, solid power, there was always that delay time. Yeah. So you tended to find that then using them as a daily car became hard work. Sorry, it's great, it's great. Uh, third year, I'm gonna now. <laughs> oh, okay. Because, <laughs> okay. like, personally, I've had turbocharged cars in the past. I've had, you know, fair, fair sized turbos, and you know, you get used to yeah, the spool yeah. up and the, and the lag and all that sort of thing. But this is, it, it's, it's totally different. It's a nice, it's a nice, the, the power's always there, and then at certain points, it's there even more so, if you know what I mean. As I say, this car sounds phenomenal, and I think it's only do a bit of justice by actually getting a camera out there and, uh, just listening to it because this thing is that resonance yeah you tend to get that with the non-resonating system um, it's sort of a box short of most systems. I prefer it though. I really like yeah. that noise. It's a, it's a good noise to me. The, D, the D-cat system gives it a lot more of a throwy sound and without that um, that resonated box, we've just got the back box, um, it does, it has that raspier noise. It's it's a bit marmite, you get some guys that like to be able to put the foot down. Yeah. It's, it's a bit more a bit more civilised. This is probably uh, a bit more worthy, worthy of an Asbo. Uh, Asbo it, it makes, it makes slash the right, again. It makes the right noise as far as yeah. I can This car has been absolutely crazy to drive. 490 brake horsepower Golf R32. Woo! It cannot, you cannot feel the sound of it. I mean, just. Woo! And on that note, we're gonna call it a day, end the video. You can follow me on Instagram. Remember to go and give these guys some love, Rushworth Development, a link in the description. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I shall see you next time. Peace.